it's already 23rd of September 2019 and thanks to all those people who follow this playlist um, something slightly different in that Power Director app 57 is called Chroma Duplicate Video Image Artifacts what a mouthful again when I say different I mean this isn't oh look here's a new feature in the app it's a new creative way of using Power Director and please this is the whole point of me making this one is that for those um, a few people actually last week have said, hey, keep, you know, like what you do, keep going. Thank you very, very much for that. What I'm actually doing on screen is just showing something to the end. Um, he says, sneak peek of the whole video, and that is that this video is more of a challenge video, which is, you know, let's c collaborate and help each other make something quite creative. You know, share it, let us know, let everybody know, because um, this app is getting to be pretty special, duplicating tons and tons of desktop features. Now, in Power Director at the moment, I've had a count up and for the video effects there's about 34 and the clip colouring effects just on those those preset things, there's about 7 sets of 12 which is 84 of them. I'm not looking to duplicate any of those, I'm looking to do something quite brand new and I'll show you what I mean. I say brand new, I mean I thought about it and I thought well, you know, let's let's have a go. So I'll show you what I mean. This is the technique and then I'll give the 6 examples out which you've pretty much seen on screen already. Let's say we have a sunflower which happens to be in the breeze. Now, if you look on screen, we can clearly see, I hope, a yellow part of the flower, green leaves, and then some sort of brownie sort of colours in the background. You know, this is really a colour thing. So watch what happens here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that, as you can clearly see, on screen. Then the first thing I'm going to do is add another layer to duplicate the layer that's step one so we go to video we go to open camera for me and then i go and add that exact clip now here is something i was messing around with yesterday on this technique the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to line it up exactly so it's laying over the top but it's way out of size so when you do this first up the clip comes in as a picture in picture exactly dead center and then it allows you, he says, yeah, to pull this and get one clip pretty much, not by frame, but pretty much, wait a second, over the top of the other one. Let's, let's say it's that. So it's pretty much over the top. Then I'm going to go back to the next step and I'm going to change that on the edit and I'm going to make the color of this and I'm going to choose a black and white. And the one I'm going to do, I think, is this artistic noir noir which is this one so you can see what's happened now is i've lost all of the greens and the yellows done then i go back and this is step three and select the clip which i hope is the right to clip it looks like i've actually this is a huge clip and i've brought it down smaller it doesn't matter uh, and i'm going to collect select that rather and this time edit chroma and then I'm going to select some of the green. And this is when it gets quite interesting and creative. So if you followed Chroma before, we get all sorts of different things happening. So I'm going to keep all of the yellow. And intentionally, when I say RT effect, there's no right or wrong answers to this. But I'm, going to, I'm just going to leave it like that, which looks pretty weird at the moment. And then I'm going to come back and give it a moment for the process to, to catch up. And you've now got a slight different effect. Let me just play a bit of that. So you can see that it's starting, as I say, not by any means to be um, good or finished, but we've got a slight hint there. If you wanted to stop, go back, and this is, I've spent an awful long time, just, and it's quite therapeutic actually, to go through and say, look, if I want to chroma something else, let's chroma away the um, yellow of the flower. This time what you'll find, if we just, just move it around, let's move that up about halfway. Got no real, let's get rid of, yeah, let's just leave it like that. It's a very difficult one to do with nature and sunflowers because there's so much green and browns knocking around. But what we've actually got is something like when it comes through. Oh my God, there's a white sunflower. That's interesting in itself. So if I played the video clip, you can see that there's, there's the noir. And then we just wait a second and you've now actually made a white sunflower. My God, that looks like really strange. It's actually really, really strange. Oh, well, I'm sold. 
I'm sold. Right, go back and this time pause that and I want to see if my other clips have been knocked out. They haven't. Right, so here are the six examples. One of them, which I'm working on here, is another extended step. And that is where I've got the original sunflower and I've got the duplicate sunflower on another track. But what I've actually put on that one in the middle is just a colour slide. Now the colour slide on this, let's um, see how I've worked it, is a colour slide which is, what colour is that I wonder? Colour selector, which is actually a white slide anyway. So there is another process to this where you can actually chroma key out the bottom like that and then put a colour slide in the middle and then it, it, the chroma will read that. And then what I've done probably, the, these are just, just chatting by the way, it's not so much, a, it is a tutorial obviously, but yeah, what's happened, look, is I've made that, can you see the way it works? I've made that, let's make it a 50%, and this is where I was playing around. There's no right or wrong answers in this art, really, is there? If it is art that you're you know, you're, you know you're aiming for. And this time you can get like a, a very t-shirty response because I put the opacity of the slide up. Next example, please, most welcome. This one is a... Um, horse in a field but what we've got I believe on there is um, the colour slide is actually down as a tinted slide like that look you can see very clearly and then when we've got the opacity uh, sorry uh, the chroma he says where's it gone is if I just use the chroma what I've actually done is I've actually just kept the horse and everything else has disappeared the effect on that one is something like this where we've got a black and white horse, I'm sure there's a technical name for that, slightly blurred and messed around on a tinted field and trees. And it looks a little bit like that. It's just that the same old story where the, the horse is looking at us um, and goes in here, but it's kind of like, I don't know what the, the technical arty name is for it, but um, I'm sure that people who are much more creative than me can do this. This one is actually where I've used a, can't remember actually, uh, I've used a degree of something, <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's, it's obviously some thing, um, sorry it sounds really ridiculous to me, um, but I've used a video effect to make it go very grey or something, I don't know, black and white, and then what I've done of course is used a chroma to just keep the blue so what you should be able to see and this isn't a video this is just a slide and if i bring that up bigger what we've got there is very much a blue car but we've got gray grass and trees and everything just to bring it out notice that there is a um blue car in the background that's the austin oh goodness classic austin owners club or something from the other weekend and then here is a similar one very very similar and this time it is a red car and this is where i'm just going through and i'm saying how can i keep changing this and i've slightly tinted out the grass and made it slightly different but the trees have stayed this one's a really interesting little clip because what we've got here i'm going to see if i can play the whole lot of this uh, full screen because i've used some cricket and i've got the the cricket uh, local cricket and then i've used a hue and because of the cricket um whites oh that was very quick, wasn't it? I've used, um, let's just pause that and bring it up. Yeah, pause. Yeah, what I've done, it comes out a bit arty and a bit weird. And so the stumps have all gone a like sort of pinky purpley hue. All the grass has gone, but the, the cricketers are still in their whites. Again, that was another example. This one here is quite interesting because um, this is just a, a band. But what the band are doing, a, a swing band, is they've got super... Um, bright yellow trousers on and then I kind of made all the buildings yellow and you know just as, as a test really uh, and I've also used a yellow slide to make that happen and the way I've done that with the yellow slide is I've used um, a straight yellow but I th believe that I've used a opacity uh, of 40 percent and again you can play around with this if you're trying to tell a story but what you've got is those natural uh, yellow um, if I go to the color Again, just examples there on the original it should be original it doesn't look very original does it looks a bit ah uh, maybe because I think I may have pulled the saturation down that's what it's normally looks like I pulled all the saturation round to, down to zero to make sure there is no color in that example again these are edits they're not finished but the trousers almost in the swing and the dancing are seeping into the whole scene 
which reminds me of something of Who Framed Roger Rabbit meets, uh, is it Cool World with Brad Pitt? Goodness, showing my age then. Then this one here is another thing with a car. This time what I've done actually is the actual main slide is actually blue and then I put the image of the red car in and then what happens is I've kind of been messing around with a um, oh it's not colorize what is it comic strip I don't know it's some kind of like um funky color thing where I, I've slightly changed it but you can get the idea of power director is pretty powerful in this way because if you've got this this classic red car which is to be honest although it's an HDR picture it's not really good and then um, when you start putting the blue over the top and maybe Anyway, that's the thing. Next example, please. Similar thing. This time, very, very similar in that I've got the red car and the red car. And if you notice that there is a blue uh, slide put in there. So I hope that to get a bit of a challenge out of this situation, we can actually all work together and create something super, super brand new. So remember the, the three step thing here was number one, add the original clip number two is duplicate it exactly or I don't know off center or as you wish to then start playing around with the chroma and the colors and that's even without playing around with all of the saturations and the effects and you know endless I tell you what let, let's just leave on that because um, I do like uh, you know he says in a weird way where's it gone is it this one uh, the one about the the white sunflower which I find is really, really spooky in a, in a kind of like autumny sort of way. That, um, you know, give your processor a couple of seconds to look at that. White hybrid. I'd love to say, oh, yes, I actually grow these, but I actually don't. I've made it up. But it's really interesting. He says, because I must have, you know, a bit of, I don't know, enthusiasm, dedication, time on my hands to achieve all these things. Sorry, let, let's just finish here. No idea how long this video is. But it was Powder Act 57 Chroma Duplicate. Please, please, please. I love hearing from everybody just to see how you get on with these things because I honestly don't know what people make with Powder Act app um, from Cyberlink. If you're having problems loading and everything, I'll try and put a link to the support doc and to raise a support ticket. Some people said to me that the um, version 6.2 they did not have. So, sorry, I don't work for Cy Cyberlink. Okay, look, have a lovely day. Goodbye.